Hi, I'm Bella Holtizen. I'm a junior from OHS. Mountain! Sensory overload is like a wave. It starts off small, but it keeps getting bigger and bigger and to a point where it'll crush you and take you under. It's cold hands dragging you down by your ankles until you feel like you can't escape. It starts off simple, small. I get a little irritable and annoyed and I try to keep away from groups. It progresses, feeling like a shiver that is traveling up your spine with no final destination. It'll finally find its peak and you're at a moment where you feel like you're suffocating. Everything is closing in on you and you can hear everything and nothing at once. You want to cry to get away, but it feels like you're trapped in place. People are talking and everything is too bright and moving too fast and it's getting louder and louder. Stop talking for God's sakes and don't touch me right now. I'm being pulled under and tossed around by relentless currents. I can't breathe. I can't breathe and I know that I need to. You ask me if I'm all right and the answer is no, but I'll never tell you that while I'm feeling it. I can't speak no matter how hard I try. My mouth can't form the words I need to reassure you. Instead, my lips can only form a small smile that probably looks more like a pathetic grimace as I try to let you know that I'm okay. Sensory overload is like a panic attack in the sense that I feel like I have no control. My body is running on a dysfunctional autopilot, making me act and think only with my emotions. The thought to act normal and not let anyone notice overtake my mind. I can feel my toes touching and I'm aware that my teeth are rubbing against my lips and cheeks. Every light seems so bright, but the absence of it is almost just as blinding. My eyes are tearing up and my voice is choked. I can hear everything and nothing surrounding me and I want to rip my ears from my head. Sensory overload is like a wave in the way that after it hits its peak, it has to calm down. After I cry and fight the urge to scream and run, it feels like I can see a light at the end of the tunnel, like there's an end to sight to something that I thought was constant. I can swim up to the surface again and take the breath I so desperately need. I'm tired and emotional, but at least I can breathe again. My face is sticky with tears and my head hurts from every amplified feeling I felt. Just breathe. It's good advice. Just breathe.